<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Game Brothers. Uh, I was about to start a story, but I forgot that we weren't recording, so I was like, yeah, fucking, why I, I need to record and play Spyro at the same time? Oh, Alright. Okay, you couldn't get comfortable last I night. I couldn't get comfortable last night. Well, see, I made the mistake. See, it's been like 50 degrees where I live, where we live, actually, because we live in the same house for now. Um... <laughs> Where we live, this vortex will take you to the the, the home vortex. All right, just continue. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump in there. So, uh, it's been like 50 degrees, and like we shook off a really dusty something or other. I can't remember. I think it was a jacket, but we shook off something it was a, really. It was, it was a shirt. Something really dusty, what? and we're like, "Wow, it's fucking like dusty and gross in here." And it was oh, warm enough that we could just open the window a little bit. Or actually cranked open the window a lot. And uh, we left it like that for a large chunk of the day. But then it started getting like windy towards the end of the night. So I was like, you know, I think it's time we could close this. But like it was really hot from the heater in here. And uh, so we left the window open a little, little bit. And I completely forgot about it last night. Fucking this guy. It was like really warm in here before we went to bed so I left the window open a little bit and I completely forgot about it so like woke up at like fucking 4 30 this morning and I was freezing cold and I couldn't remember why and I couldn't figure it out so I was really cold like all night and uh I get up this morning and open the shades to the window to you know, let some light in and get the day started. And the window was still like two inches open. I was really pissed off because I was cold and uncomfortable last night because I couldn't uh, sleep with like half my body out from under the covers like I normally do. So I wasn't in regular shape. And then I had to shut the fan off. I had to sleep with white noise because I fucking can't stand sleeping in silence. And the, uh, it, it, ju it just sucked a lot. Because I had to shut the fan off, and it was really cold, and I thought that would fix it, but it didn't. Uh, and I should get you a white noise machine for Christmas. Well, all I did, so what I did to fix it was, uh, oh shit, shit. What I did to fix it was I turned on my iPod and went to YouTube and found a 10-hour white noise video. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and it ran my iPod dead because it was at half battery and it was really cold in the room, so it just fucking died. Um, but I managed to fall asleep again, and I fell asleep for about two more Go hours. Get that dragon statue. What? I missed the dragon? Oh, my God. Marshall, what's happening to me? God, no! Stop! cutting it too close for comfort you are but if I die I'll just come back here I'm kind of pissed that they didn't load the dragons for this probably because they, they needed a small them. file size oh yeah no because this game was released in 1998 right maybe I don't know <sighs> fucking that frog needs to get burnt Get a little burnt frog legs. You, I mean, yum. That's actually a delicacy in some places. I know, like tree frog legs. That's good shit, apparently. No, like straight, just regular frog legs. Well, you remember Metal Gear Solid Three? Tree frogs were a delicacy. Or no, wait, it was the, it was some kind of brown frog. I think the autumn frog. Mm, yeah, the Otten Frog. Otten Frog, for those of you who don't live in the Great White North. <laughs> I went to school. I could say words. I can't say them right, apparently. Exactly. I could say something, but I don't know who's going to be watching this. Why? Bucksmart. We are Bucksmart! Alright. <laughs> Bucksmart. Uh... Blue Mountain Union, fuck you. Um, our school sucked. We were literally maybe like second to worst rated school in terms of, uh, I think it was, it was some kind of testing. We were rated on like yeah, it was the standardized tests or something testing. like that. And we were literally like second to last on that test. And 
it was kind of hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, because then, like, the teachers were all bitching us out. Yeah, like, hey, you guys need to take these tests seriously. You need to, like, really take these tests. It's like we are taking the tests. You just don't teach us anything. <laughs> so, where the hell is this key? I want to get the key for that. You got a key. No, I got, oh, I got the key for fucking the other place, the Dark Hollow that I never went back and got. Oh. Um, let's see if this guy will take me somewhere. Or unless he just says something stupid like, Enjoy the demo! And which, I did. The other worlds are very exciting. I'll take you there in September. <sighs> like, what even is he? He, glide, charge, and jump, flame, run and fly through over 30 breathtaking levels. Well, actually, there's more than 30. Well, that's why it said more than 30. Uh, I'm about to blow my nose, so this may get a little disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. Baby. Nasty hell. I felt something just shoot right out of that. <laughs> uh, There's some things that the audience does not need to hear, and that is probably <laughs> one of them. Ugh. You remember when John Jafari got all fucking offended with John when Aaron burped on their show. We talk about Game Grumps a lot. Game Grumps and Markiplier are probably the two biggest influences. Yeah. Uh, but, see, I could be like that. I could be like, oh, yeah, well, I'm just gonna fucking burp and fart all over the microphone and the table in place. I could, but I'm not. Ugh. There's one episode where that happened. <laughs> Okay, what's well, next? Well, Fuck Gran Turismo, I hate racing games. Fuck Rallycross. Tomb Raider 3. Tomb Raider. Uh, no. I suck at Tomb Raider. We're then gonna play Wild 9. Do it up. I love Wild 9. This is probably my favorite favorite wacky game. I tried playing this on an emulator. We do not condone the usage of any ROMs, ROM hacks. Emulation is bad, very bad. But I play, tried to play it, but I didn't have like a PC computer... Uh, uh, PC compatible ugh, uh, game controller so and you need the analog stick for this game which is it, it doesn't actually tell you <laughs> but it does like it needs the, the fucking thing so I couldn't get past the first level <clears throat> so I was like okay fine whatever just gonna have to buy it and I will. We will get this game when the time comes. Fucking Team Green. Let's Dude, play the game. What was Earthworm Jim on? Earthworm Jim, I believe, started on the Super Nintendo. We need to get... It. Super Nintendo and the Genesis, I think. We need Earthworm Jim. Yes, we do. There's an HD one on the Wild 9, start. Gulag. That's a Russian prison camp. <laughs> So let's see what <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what prison camps are called in Russia are fucking gulags. All right, well, U.S. history, everyone. U.S. history, Russia gulag. I'm I not gonna touch that. that. What? I'm not gonna touch that. Why not? I forgot how to play this game. Well, I think you just figured this it out. This fucking woo! Look at how fucking fast that whips around. You want a way to die in this game? Stand under one of those things. I always like picked them up and kept slamming them on the ground. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. The the only that? way to put fire jets out is to grab the closest slob. And smash him into the fire nozzle. Three good whacks and the fire's out. You smell bacon? Ow. You ass whap. Fuck. Yeah, I'm sorry, okay? Cheat. Stop! Jeez. Okay. God, I suck at this game. Yep. Seriously though, what is a slob? One of those things. 
This game's fucking weird. No, come on, up. Oh. No, stop! You control them with the same mutton that you used to move. And I died. Very violently. <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like an RPM meter. Right. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Next time on Game Brothers. <laughs> uh, what? We'll fuck up that that thing, maybe. That fire thing. Yeah. This game is complicated. <laughs>